Beat Mr. Kyle, I'm playing professional with your boy Jason Zablak Rapa. Diving right in, guys. I'm answering the questions that were submitted to me uh, earlier this week uh, from my Ask Me Any Question Challenge. And so I'm just going to get right into it, starting now. All right, so this first question comes from the Deserve. The Deserve, right? The Deserve. Uh, his question is, what would you rate my track, Don't Believe in Me, out of 10? All right, so you know I'm a, you know I'm a rapper. Been rapping since 2004, doing live shows, recording, um, managing a label and all that. So I have an analytical ear. I can check out the song and, you know, be able to give a good uh, summary on it. So I did. What would I rate it out of 10? I would rate it a 7 out of 10. And I say that because, um, for one, uh, my particular taste, I'm an East Coast rapper. Even though I'm living in Texas, I'm not a big fan of Dirty South. Now, this isn't really Dirty South, but it is kind of kind of has that laid back, mellow vibe to it. And then uh, the flow is good. The flow is really good. The pocket was good. Um, wordplay, I think the wordplay could definitely be improved. Um, it was kind of like one of those generic, you know, laid back, yeah, this is it, this is that kind of rap. Um, the, the guy he collaborated with was on par with that so you know it was a good matchup as far as collaborations go um very laid back the beat was laid back i'm not a fan of those kind of beats that's just my personal preference so please don't get offended it's just not my thing i'm more of like you know east coast stuff i'm I mean, even the, the mid um mid central the you know even the the west coast stuff i i like now i don't like all west coast songs but um the general vibe from it um, I like the incident of more upbeat. Just that's just me. Now I, I definitely can go for ballads. You know I definitely do go for those kind of things. But you know laid back, kind of like you know just chilling kind of music. That's that's just not my thing. All right. Um, but just judging on the craft alone, judging on the how this it was recorded, the quality, I can definitely tell it was recorded from home or home studio. Um, if it was taken to another studio, then you know I, I think it could have they could have done a better job. But if this was a home studio track and let you know, I do all my tracks from home as well. I have a home studio, so you know, a lot of people like my stuff. Um, so I'm not slamming on the home studio. I definitely uh, vote for that. But I can tell that that's what you know. That based on the quality, that was a home studio track. Good job. Um, but uh, beat choice, eh. Um, flow was good. Collaboration was good. Wordplay could definitely be improved. Um, that's about it. So I say seven out of ten. So you did a good job, man. All right, so next question is from Amen Penisar. And the question is, where do you see yourself in five years with your career, YouTube? All right, so what's up, Amen, my bro, my YouTube brother? Basically, this channel is, you know, a narrative following me as a rapper, getting into financial freedom. As you know, if you were with me from the very beginning, uh, my my channel was about getting me out of thirty thousand dollars in debt. I'm definitely not in that level anymore, thank God. Um, but I'm still climbing, still climbing the mountain. And uh, so in five years from now, I would see this as, you know, you see me as the rapper assuming my role full time. And, you know, um, you see me behind the scenes, you see me getting off stage, all this stuff, which I will post some of this stuff, you know, here eventually. And uh, but here I am doing it full time. And um, sorry, just getting the text. And uh, what I want to do in five years from now is make this more of a you know, kind of like a Grant Cordone, um, Gary V, uh, you know, motivational, inspirational channel where, you know, th I've, I've assumed my level of success and what I want to do is I want to inspire and motivate you guys to follow that same path if that's what you want to do. So, you know, living the life, posting it on YouTube, and then for those that aspire to have the same dreams come true for their lives, I want you to look to me as a source of comfort, a source of motivation, inspiration, and you know, just follow my tips, follow my advice, follow my wisdom to assume that level of success just like I have or I will. You know, basically, I don't want to close the door behind me. I want to drop the rope so that you can climb up and join me. So that's what I want to do with my channel five years from now. And I say that because, you know, even though I am the blogging rapper here, the blogging rapper is really not my stage name. It's actually S.A. So the blogging rapper is focused on the behind the scenes, you know, look at look into my world kind of thing. So there you go. Last but not least, question from Mike Houghton. What's up, Mike Houghton? Mike Houghton has been following me for several years now. He's a cool dude. And uh, so here's his question. 
Mike Cohen says, uh, he asks, I'm going to take out the big guns here. How do you feel about Christians either judging or basically stunning kicking out a person for something they did years past? Now, this sounds familiar. I don't know if you've talked to me about this before. Um, I don't know if this is about you. I don't even know what the thing was. He probably told me, but my mind, dude, I, I can't remember something you know, what I had for lunch yesterday. So I'm just going to take it as you ask the question without knowing the details or anything. Okay. Uh, without knowing the details, I can't really say, you know, um, if I think the church is right or wrong, because, you know, if for some cases, it doesn't matter what you did years past. If it's bad, it's bad. And the church has a right to defend itself and the congregation, you know? So if it was bad, then you wouldn't call it judging, you know, it, it would be, it would be a judgment, of course, you know, I, I am telling you, you are not allowed here because you did this. Sure, you call that a judgment, but if it's bad, then they have a right to do it. And um, I want to say this, and I'll, I'll, I'll come around, I'll come across the other side of the coin in a minute, but I will say this, I find it interesting how, because it's a church, we put extra judgment back on them. You know, like we, we take more offense to a church because they're the Christians. They're the ones that are good, you know, supposedly good. They're the ones that, you know, oh, but they're supposed to love this and this and this. Well, you know, if you take it to any other institution, you know, they operate the same way. And at the end of the day, they have a right to do what they do. And we can't really step in. You know, we can try to fight it or whatever if we really think it's bad. But other institutions have the right to operate. They want to operate. But the churches, apparently, these days, they don't have the right because they're Christians. They're the good guys. They're the ones that, oh, they're not supposed to judge. Blah, 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 blah. Judge lest you be judged. Well, it depends on the thing. You know, in the Bible, uh, it, it's, it, you know, it's full of judgments. It's full of things that if you do this, then that. If you do this, then that. So, you know, cause and effect. So, they, and these are in place to have order. You know, it's, it's, it's a way to keep the order and to keep the safety of everyone involved. So, Mike, if this is about you, bro, I know you didn't do anything terrible, okay? But I'm just laying that out there for anyone because, you know, a lot of people hark on, on Christians and churches. You know, they're this, they're that, they're such hypocrites they're so evil they're this and that and the truth of the matter is is that you know it's so two-faced you know yeah you take it somewhere else you get the same treatment oh well you know that's them but no it can't happen at a church so you know uh, a lot of people should really stop you know focusing so much on that aspect of churches and just understand that like any other organization they have a right to operate how they want to operate now the thing is not every church operates the same you know um, there's some churches that they're more about grace and they'll you know work to re restore you others they maybe don't have those assets so they don't um, you know if they kick you out they kick you out go find another church um, now, <laughs> that being said, I'm a personal believer of restoration. I'm a personal believer that if you did something wrong, well, then you need to be talked to, obviously. Uh, there may be a time, depending on what it is, there may be a time where you have to be, I'm not a fan of excommunication, I don't believe in it, but some, depending on the church, you know, if you did something really bad, then you may need to go and handle yourself first and then come back. But I, I believe in the power of forgiveness. I believe in the power of restoration. So that being said, the other side of the coin is this. Uh, if they're judging you based on something like, let's say, uh, you told a lie, you, uh, you, what else? Um, had an affair with someone in the church, whatever. Again, it's really hard to say without knowing what the situation is, but if it's something minimal, if it's something that's, you know, something like that, um, uh, I would say that it's not something that they, they should kick you out for. I think, and again, I say this again, I believe in restoration. So, um, man, this video is long. <laughs> I believe in restoration and I think that, you know, whatever the issue was, if it's, you know, reasonable, if it's not like, ah, oh, you killed a man or something like that. But I believe it was if it was within, you know, a reasonable setting that uh, you should be, you know, allowed back in. Uh, provided that you know the, the leadership team can talk to you and work with you to restore you and make sure that you know you're cool everything's fine and they can trust you again yada yada but once again depends on what you did that or even if it wasn't you depends on what the person did 
And it depends on the church, man. If the church is like that, there's a lot of churches that are run by idiots, you know, but there's a lot of churches that are run by, you know, really strong leaders. And whether you, you, you will, you will not always agree with what they have to say. And if it's to that point, there's, there's several other churches in the U.S. And, you know, not every church is the same. Not every church believes exactly the same thing. So, you know, don't count out, don't miscount church and say, well, I don't go to church anymore because this happened. You know, I get so many people that say that. And I'm like, you, you, you consider all churches the same because this happened to you. Did you try going to another church? No, all Christians are the same. No, they're not. Just go to another church, man. But uh, I hope that answers your question. I hope I wasn't insensitive or anything. I'm just letting you know that without knowing the details, I can't really specify on, you know, whether the church has, you know, was right or wrong in this scenario. But um, on the other side of the coin, playing, it's funny to say, but playing devil's advocate, um, you know, every church, just like every other institution, has a right to operate how they wish to operate. So if you don't agree with what happened, if you don't agree with the result, you know, don't give up on, on your relationship with God, man. Just, you know, find another church and be a part of that. So I hope that answers your question. Those are my three cues. And, uh, you know, if you thought this was a fun idea, then uh, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. And I will, I may even do another one like this in the future. So. Refrigerator. So that's it, guys. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you thought this was a cool idea. And I'll see you next time. It's Jason Zablag and Rapper. Much love. God bless. Peace. Really lied. I just um, uh, didn't have time to do more of a full production type video this time around for today's update. Plus, it's later than I wanted it to be. And I have a lot to do. Melody, don't play with the kitty. Anyway, Ash, come on. My dog is outside pooping. Ashy, inside. Ashy, get in here now. Good girl.